Convening a media briefing today, the Unity Through Power Devolution Movement expressed views on the protests which were staged by the Frontline Socialist Party yesterday. They did not resort to tear gas with the protest march of the Frontline Socialist Party. It was easily dispersed with water cannons. Their leader is in jail for a minor issue relating to his passport. Now there have been much bigger passport-related issues. Even though Vimal Veerawangsa had to face such an issue, he was able to resolve it. So we cannot figure out what is happening here. People come rallying with black flags and suddenly they are allowed to rally. I saw even the police in light conversations with the protesters. They walk along with the protesters with smiles on their faces and when they reach the end point, they suddenly put up barricades and fire water cannons at them. This gives us reason to wonder if this was staged. Ranil Vikramasinghe is quite the cunning political figure. Although he calls himself Jiyar Jayawardena's son-in-law, he works like Jiyar Jayawardena's uncle. I wonder if Ranil Vikramasinghe asked the leaders of the Frontline Socialist Party to casually march here and once they do, they would be dispersed with a little tear gas and water cannons and that neither of them will have an issue. <laughs> Yesterday, Dr. Hafiz of the Sri Lanka Muslim Congress resigned from Parliament. Moreover, Minister MKADS Gunavardhana passed away. This leaves two vacant seats in Parliament. Now we got to know that you will be getting a seat in Parliament. Is this true? Uh, I wanted to contest the election, but then I was told not to and that I would be brought in through the national list. If they are appointing someone new, then it is I who is on the national list, but the Prime Minister is not in the country.